All right, like we said, this is uh, episode 20 of the Bag Boy. Bag- <laughs> oh my God, Christian, please help us out. Uh, are you starting it? That, that was oh the start. Okay, that was God. the start. Right. This is uh, Christian. Hello. We have Robert. I have a pimple on my nose, but you can't see it. <laughs> His whole thing leading up to this was he's so happy that he's facing this way because he can hide the pimple. Well, thank First goodness. thing he says, I, can't I have a pimple. This, I can't turn too far to the right or else. Sideburns are fixed. Sideburns are. I can't turn right. I <laughs> this is what why we I can't do, do introductions. If that we already got sidetracked. That's obviously. okay. This is my boy Shaners. Yeah, I... Go Leafs, go. Fuck you in the comments. <laughs> and I'm Drew. Some guys like take that worthless take piece that of snow, shit story of excuse hat. for a team hat off. He's your not head. wrong. Yeah, well, Whoa, quite from okay. you, it's okay. But I'm from him, yeah. from someone who actually watches hockey, it like kind of hurts a bit. But you it's know. probably just Christian's alt account. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Should we start the podcast by going through last week's comments, or should we do that? Yeah, yeah. Well? yeah, yeah. I think that top comment just needs to be addressed. It's started amazing. while she's relevant um, and fresh. I don't have it. Nice, nice, and en- nice and engaging with the audience, you know? Oh, yeah. So, top comment from last week from Bob Marlin. <laughs> Bob Marley. Is it about me? Yeah. Rob looks like he has people in his basement. <laughs> <laughs> Can't confirm or deny. Oh, oh man. Those comments are... But, but they were sure tasty. And then one you. person re- responded with, Rob can lock me up in his basement anytime. <laughs> and then RAR in bold. I was going to say, yeah. don't RAR. RAR XD. Yikes. Um, you, you're in the club and this man RAR XD is at your girl. What do you do? You're done. You loser. <laughs> to to address all the comments from last week asking about the Spotify issue. For some reason, Spotify just fucked us and didn't upload the newest episode, but it's there now. And to address all the comments saying I'm right, thank you. Yep. Nope. <laughs> it was like actually not like 100, but it was like 50-50. Yeah, it was actually. It was not. About what? Count. All right, we're counting. Oh, the 5 to 15? Okay, I, Drew, I'd say, Drew's gone I'd say it's 30. Like four, we're good. I'd say it's all like 40-60 right, well, split. One is Christian should give me 15, and <laughs> you are the real one, realest of the ones, just for harassment. I said uh, uh, you pay whatever you shook on. So what was that, five bucks? Yeah. Rob, you count the 10s. All right. I got or the 15s. Shane, so, you got the 10s. <laughs> Some people are like, we should do it in between. <laughs> it's me in the middle. All right, I got one five. This is going to be the most boring. <laughs> are, are we what all counting? Well, two fives. That. Shane, put up a 10. I forgot uh, what number I was assigned, got, if I'm being honest. We got some <laughs> random, like, 8, 15, one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's just assume that Christian's paying um, whatever you guys no, should No, okay, the one actually is important, because it was like, if you pay a dude 8 bucks, he'll go through all yeah, your yeah. old videos <laughs> yeah. and find where you said it. I, I would actually pay him. <laughs> just, you could just Venmo him. You heard it here first, buddy. If you find it, he'll but pay you is, 8 bucks. Like, getting that doesn't mean anything, because I know in that video I said... Like, yeah, but you know, but like one. playing that video back bet. would be the ultimate slap in the face. But it doesn't say that he owes me fifteen, though. No, it says the video I says that five. if he just acknowledges because that's it, what we agreed on. So where the fifteen come from? Then? He acknowledges the bet. I'm saying it's fifteen because he got a job. Oh down. right, this is assumed like appreciation. Yeah. Of it just the, makes of no the bet. sense. Also, before we get off the t- topic of comments, I want to say that my favorite comment from last week was the one that we already talked about. That feeling when Rob currently has more money in his bank account <laughs> than you do. This is a new low. Sucks to Aww. suck, loser, doesn't it? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm, I'm, ri- I'm rich, you're not. Get been, over it. That guy's been supporting you since day one of bank account updates and you just fucking threw it in his face. I don't give a shit, That's the man. guy who's like, hey, where's the bank account updates? Oh, yeah. I got myself the same. So do we still do bank account updates? Obviously. I'm like Annie was saying, why are we bothering? Because Well now I'm like rich and I can impress people, you know? Okay. I'll track all the ladies and women. <laughs> so do you want to tell us then? Just give us an estimate. Okay. You're still four digits. Yeah. I want it down to the <laughs> <low>. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the line no. has started. Okay, so here's Man, the... tell me it's nine nine nine, please. Here's you bought thing. a pack of gum, right? It's about nine thirty-five. Okay. Okay. All right. Phone bill. Yeah. Respectable per- purchase. I need a phone. Like a box of protein you bars. You need one though. Mm-hmm. I don't need a phone. You want one though. It's one of those like fringe needs that. Actually, I want. yeah, that's fair. You I know what say I mean? Need now as a phone. You're allowed to have wants. Yeah. Okay. So we'll so we'll put as a fringe that's though because I need to be able to the contact want, people. The, so the phones the need. The want is the protein bars. Yeah. I would, protein I would bars just for also sure. like to say, Rob, congratulations on well, like you're out of it now, but the one comma club. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, wait, what gone. am I now then? We that, said that last zero. week. Am I the one period? Did club we talk then? about the Trace Comas? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Continue yeah. that. I'm the yeah. one period club now. No, the one, one period, period club. club. Take that as you wish. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> protein bars, mm-hmm. phone bill, a new wiper blades, and that's all I bought since last that's time. That's a need. Yep. My wiper blades suck. 
Oh, I mean, well, just my hopefully, own... hopefully not anymore. It's literally no. just this time of year they freeze. Like, well, like my. Do you park whole... your car outside? Yeah, I have to. Well, you're fucked. No, well, the, are fucked. the thing is, it's like last year they were fine, but like this year it's like they get going and then they leave like one streak right down the center of my fucking. Did you try windshield. cleaning them before buying new? I ones? did. I went like my put my hand on it and melted it, and it was literally. <laughs> I put my hand on it. And it was literally, I literally, and this white stuff started coming out. I grasped it and like melted the ice off my thing, so like yeah. it would like work. You know what I mean? My hand was freezing. There was probably a better way to go about it. I'm standing on the gym parking lot with my hands like two handed a wiper blade. Outside, good life. And then like I put it down, and like the streak was still there. Some guys are coming out giving Rob their number. Being like, uh, he's like, oh, hey. I, li- I like your technique, kid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're at you about got nine. Heart. Between 9.30 and 9.40. I forget the exact number. But it's payday this week. Hey, so that means we'll be jumping huge. up to like pretty, pretty oh, good amount. Oh, buddy. You're going to be uh, well into the comma. Yeah, I'm hoping so. <laughs> the comma. And then uh, I'll probably like... I'm pretty complacent with my job right now. I'll probably get back at that like, job hunt soon, you know? The grind. Oh, yeah, you have yeah. to tell us. How did the interview go for last Oh, week? it was like, str- like weird. So, <clears throat> so uh, I got there. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm not going to say anything bad about the place because, like, they were nice enough to give me an interview. But, like... They were fucking trash. It just felt like they they just didn't give a shit, man. My interview lasted seven minutes. Oof. And I drove all the way to... I can say where it is, right? Yeah. And it's from... I drove to Saga from here. Mm -hmm. And it was in, like, sort of in the morning. It was, like, an hour drive. But it was, like, an hour and 30 with traffic, which sucked. And, like, so I get there... For seven minutes? Yeah. That's what I mean. I get there. I, like, you know, I got a nice suit on my hair is all nice and done up that day you know not possible um yeah, done dude, look at this. that's actually like, pretty everything. nice from work today do you see it beautiful you can't smell it. just only got my pimple okay, okay. <laughs> um is that supposed to it, look nice it, it does look nice so greasy yeah, yeah it, it is greasy <laughs> you need a haircut but uh i know i'm gonna one tomorrow but then i can't my hairdresser was in fucking orlando how random is that wow what a bitch hope, hey you you, she, got, you got some money now fly down get yeah i might meet her down there I think I'm. I think I'm like in love with her to a certain extent too. That's perfect. But um, do you want to expand on that? No, because oh, yeah, she, like, she has a husband and kids. I can't do that to her. She's nice, but um, she's nice, so I won't be a homer. No, but uh, what was I saying about something? We lost it. You did we lose it? Your oh. interview. Oh, the ah, it's back! It's back! <laughs> man, there's uh, a reason it was only seven minutes. I thought we, I thought we lost it for sure, man. <laughs> after some mistake, like, why am I here again? <laughs> why am I wearing these clothes? <laughs> Um, what is this suit doing yeah. on me? But then, so my interviewer, interviewer, interviewees, no, interview. I'm an interviewee. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they were, they were like two. It makes <laughs> so <laughs> much sense. They were, they were like two. Halfway through, Rob's like, so why do you think you're a good fit for this job? <laughs> Literally, that was the only question they asked me, and the rest was all weird, and weird shit. It was two like girls who were around my age. And like they were more bad looking, for being honest. Mm-hmm. But because uh, Rob was hitting on them, that's why it lasted seven. No, minutes. but like it was nice. I was very professional. Well, they were very just like, this guy's gonna be an HR nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Get him out of here. Get him out of here as fast as you can. But no, they were nice and like so we sit down, you know, very composed. You know, the first question they asked me is like, so where do you live? And I'm like, uh, like I told them where because I can't say it. Also, give me a dirty look. And then um, <laughs> yeah, the next question was like. Oh, I know where blank is. Did you go here? Did you go to like to like to the bar around here? To, to they mentioned Phil's, and I was like, "What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Like this is an interview for a job." You know what I mean? And like That's it was perfect. super casual. But yeah, at the same time, I thought they were just kind of like breaking me in for someone else to come and interview me. You know this what I mean? This threw you off your game. Literally, I, I was so like, I drove in there and I was so ready for like a professional last day. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, talking about Phil's, and then like, <laughs> and then so like, oh, we should probably ask you about the job. And I'm like yeah no shit and they're like so what makes you think that like you're a good fit for the job and i was like told them i forget what i said i had it all memorized your spiel my nice out of elevator pitch and then they're like okay so you have any questions for us and i like asked them kind of like the usual like what's a normal day I look like what's i asked them to pay which was pretty lackluster so that's kind of why i didn't want to take it and then um especially if i'm if i'm moving to a different city or commuting in it's got to be worth it you know what i mean they mm-hmm. wouldn't they, they would have covered gas that's about it no benefits it was a contract i know i can't be too picky but like a three month contract for like working for like a little over minimum wage with nothing else and then i was like what are the chances that i would get extended and they were like like they were like oh like within the company like, like it's no problem but like they're like an agency you know what i mean so it was working with can, should I say it? Or is that nah? Like Probably not the co- not. like like the big company that I would have worked for. Sure. Google. Like I would have worked with uh, Google through this company. 
And I was like, oh, like, this is great, right up my alley with my degree. And then they were like, yeah, but like, chances are you'd be, you'd be like moved to like another like retail unit. Like, so they're basically, I'd be working like for like, I don't know, a retail company after that. Cause I wanted to stay within oh, Google like, obviously. Right. Yeah, but yeah, they were yeah. like, no, like, like they were like, that wouldn't happen. Unfortunately, you would be like re- reallocated somewhere within our agency. You're fired. Well, they, well, couldn't, yeah, because, they like, couldn't guarantee that, but well, I didn't, you, I didn't ask them to guarantee. I just no, said, no, is no. there a chance? But I mean, like no. if you impress the people at Google enough, there's nothing yeah. really stopping. Them I know, I know, I know. Oh, that. Wait, so how would, I'm assuming the way the company works is the company sends you to Google to do work. Yeah. But I don't, Google has, I'm not under contract with Google. Yeah. I'm They're under just contract like, with this agency. They're hiring the company yeah. that sends you. And like the job itself was like, it was like a field management job. It's like, like doing like, they know how they have reps that go to stores and stuff, but it's managing them. It's not anything that I really wanted to For do. Google. Yeah. It's All like, right, go to google.ca. Yeah. It's yeah. working. Hey, no, good it, job, guys. It'd be like, need money now. It'd be like bringing in the new people and training them, like going out to stores, doing all that kind of stuff. So like it would have been, all right if it was in town but for the amount that we're gonna pay a little over like literally a few dollars of a minimum wage it's like getting up at six to bus mass to saga every day just didn't really seem like it plus i'd have to quit the job i have now which i really like so i was like yeah it kind of kind of made my mind up for me but rob like scamming all those grannies yeah man they're so sexy no, i'm kidding but like they were like literally i was just like kind of a buzzkill because i was like really excited because like obviously google's a sweet company but then like and then the agency like made it sound really really nice and then of course i interview and they could just felt like it was just i was like like just they interviewed me at the last minute like they weren't really prepared i, I don't know so did they offer you anything mm-hmm. they've like they've reached out for my um references that's it so that was a few days ago All right, did you give them them no i just emailed <laughs> back saying fuck you guys you're cheap i'm kidding yikes <laughs> i didn't say that but then he asked for the they, girls numbers yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> my, my interviewers are they still around you could technically, if they offer you the job, you could still try and negotiate. I know I could, but like, like I would want a substantial amount more than what they were. Yeah. You could offer. leverage this job offer with your current job. Be like, I'm leaving you guys. I think they wouldn't care. For this company, but <laughs> exactly. Like, 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 like they like me, but they, they, they wouldn't fight for me to stay. I don't You've been think. here for a month. See you, man. Yeah, yeah, about a month and a half actually. But, oh, time mm-hmm. flies. Yeah. When you're having fun. I guess it does. Not but yeah, it was kind of a again, kind of a buzzkill because I was super prepared for like. A, like a good shot of the you were stressed trip. last week i was, was like, i was stressing out I, I stood up till like way too late like trying like, re- like memorizing what i was going to say all my answers because like that's how i don't i don't like panicking during interviews that's when i kind of lose my cool so i just have to make i have to make sure i'm dialed in you know what i mean have every possible question and answer prepared rob's like prepared to have a interview with some exec and he's just gonna kiss man. his ass and it's just like Two chicks that are like the person that oh, was you're like it, partying. <laughs> they like what? They send me like a like a email confirmation email. Like the person that was gonna interview me, they left their LinkedIn, and that person was like high up in this agency, right? So that's why I was pre- prepared for such a crazy, good, a crazy interview. But then the person who interviewed me wasn't even there, and it was just again nothing against the company or these girls, but it was just like felt they're, like it was like they're lackeys. So like someone said, "Oh shit, we have an interview today. Quick, you guys go do it." You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was actually, this is a pyramid scheme. They yeah. were going to hire you and you're going to interview other people yeah, for the yeah, same yeah. job. Rob was, Rob was interviewing at Arbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any of those fucking things you see people post on their Norwax. Instagrams. When I was in school. I know a couple of those are boners. Yeah. I always saw the posters around our school that was just like, hey, student painting or whatever, earn yeah. like minimum $15 per appointment or whatever. And I was like, oh shit, like this would be a really good summer job, but I never bothered because I had YouTube as a backup. <laughs> And then I didn't realize I that they were like all pyramid schemes. YouTube should be a backup, but well, that was back when I was like, <laughs> that was back when I was getting like twenty thousand views a video, and just twenty thousand. Yeah, like, wow. It's back when I was getting like twenty thousand a back day. Back when I, so. I do, I could, I could barely afford to wax my first Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> I could have barely afford my three million dollar mansion. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that we're all currently sitting in. That's yeah, we're sitting in right thirteen now. foot high ceilings. We're, we're well. in the fifth floor. We took the elevator up here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Funny story. I, me and so you, like, you heard the commotion over the phone when I was in your lobby, right? Okay. I couldn't really understand what the fuck was happening, but yeah. There was some Uber Eats guy trying to like bust his way in through the front door. <laughs> He's just like, fuck, these people order it. Li-. And like, I guess they, there's a window or until you get a discount or you get it free or something. Yeah. And he's like, shit, like I'm right at my thing. I got, <laughs> I, have I got to get seconds. the fuck. I got to get in there. And I'm like, oh yeah, no problem. My friend's waiting for me. I'll, I'll buzz this in. I call Christian. <laughs> I, guess it, I guess it didn't work or something. And both of us just, I'm on the phone. He's staring at me so intently. Like, come on, man. And then like, we finally get in. And then like, 
I didn't understand the way the room numbers were laid out on his like thing. Yeah. So I think he was on the second floor, so I just kind of said, "You're good here, man." And then I just came up here because <laughs> it said like two something, and then I was just like, oh just that, kicks the guy the "That must mean the the second floor." So I was like, "This is your stop, man." I'm when we got that. here, we beat Christian here, <clears throat> and we 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 camped outside the elevator for like five minutes until they came up and then That's jumped the, out. It was like ten. Yeah, and we, and we jumped out, and Christian didn't give the biggest reaction. A little spooked, but nothing. And yeah. then walked in, and then Annie wasn't with him, so we waited for her. And me and Drew are like an inch away from the elevator door, like waiting for it to open. And like the guy who lives beside him walks out with the garbage bag, like looks at us, and just keeps walking. He just thinks he's in like a a variant of The Shining. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, that you guys scared him by accident? That'd be so funny. <laughs> yeah. We scared Annie. Well, originally, like we were, you were standing around that corner right yeah. in front of his door. So I saw I saw a red Tesla driving like here, and I was like following it the whole way. I was gonna, like thought it was you. I was like fucking with them, trying to put my high beams on and shit. And then I got closer, <laughs> and I didn't I didn't see a license plate, and I was like, I was, like, I was, like I was honking, I was cutting them literally. Off. I was, was like, I was riding up right up this guy's oh butt, man, God. like the, this closer the whole way here, and they flashed my lights out. I was like, I messaged it. you saying we're already back. I, for Bro, some, somehow, <laughs> I, I thought you were just saying that so that way I would like, you know what I mean. So I thought no, you were going back. Rob like we back. maneuvers this guy into the LRT. It's like, oh, go to your street. <laughs> well, the LRT is not going to be a, th- a thing because they're going on strike. Which, what do you think about that? <laughs> it doesn't See, concern none of us me. Either. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, my parents tried to use it for the first time the other day, and they, they, they were very against it in general, just based on how they were trying to implement it. And they were like, you know what? We're going to have a date night downtown. <laughs> the they LRT. took the LRT. <laughs> my dad got a pass from work that was supposed to just let him use it whenever. Declined. Didn't work. And he's oh, just like, no. What? And they're like, oh, yeah, I don't know why it's not working. And he's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? Did I tell you guys when back when I had my most recent ex-girlfriend, my mom was like, yeah, I should go ride the LRT for fun. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Thanks, mom. I told her, I was like, yeah, my mom was such a retired train. person. They just like, Literally, just go dude, back and my, forth on a my train. My parents, mm-hmm. like, are, like, they think it's the craziest thing ever. There's like a, this LRT. They're freaking out. They're like, this is crazy. Can you believe it? Aliens. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't work half the time because it's frozen. Like, <laughs> I hate it. When we were like going to a restaurant, we were stuck at an intersection for four minutes because two yeah. LRTs came by. Just sitting there. That's a long this time had, for intersection. So, Rob, we had reservations for five. We were like, yeah, we're going to go up five. And Christian's like, oh, yeah, sorry. I was late because the LRT. He's <laughs> like, it was like five o'clock on the dot. And I was waiting behind it. And Shane just goes, so you were late anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been one minute late. Yeah. We already had, we, we sat down and had a whole loaf of bread before he got yeah. there. Oh, we man. literally pulled up and Shane, I could tell that Shane was just so content to sit in the car and wait for whatever. I'm like, want to get some bread inside? And I he's feel like, that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, fuck. Sure. I just love sitting in a car, man. Especially when it finally gets warm and it's cold out. It's just mm. like, fuck. It, it can be pretty toasty. Yeah. Speaking of cold out. Those oh new segway eh? Oh, segway. Yeah. Oh, the I almost snow fell, story. I almost yeah. fell off. Yeah. Holy shit. So, Did you see that? Yeah. Bro? I actually didn't. I, oh, I heard about it. I didn't it see any like pictures, though. Two or three feet of snow mm-hmm. overnight. Like is that? Oh, is no! That it was like, a, it's like within guy, a day, right? A f- like twenty-four hour span, it did. Yeah. Is that, regardless. is that the same video where the guy slides his front door open and there's just snow just up yeah. to the top? Well, the thing is, is it's not actually that tall, but it drifts because there's so much snow. It drifts all the way up the houses. Oh yeah. yeah. So like, like there's, the banks are like ten feet tall. Someone wild. showed like how much it actually snowed. Up. It was about the size of like halfway up a car. Which is still well, that's nuts. So like, that's like three snow, or four yeah. feet, but like yeah, then it starts to pile up. There's no fucking that's way. The door. But see, that's the drifts. Every house gets drifted in. Yeah, so it's literally just you open the door and it's just snow. Mm-hmm. Get, yeah, uh, just like a car, just completely covered. Yikes! Show the camera if the, if, if it'll pick it up. You think it will? No, nah, no. Not. But if you like, if you if imagine, we've snow. had snow drifts yeah. here where it's like the car like goes halfway up my door. But yeah. like, these ones, like the, the snow drift, literally covers half the cars. That's fucked, man. I hate, like, dude. I don't mind snow, and then like. Okay, I got a bone to pick with the plows around here. Did you see my tweet? I, I, I deleted they, they're, it. They're just non-existent. I deleted no. it because I felt bad for calling the city dumb. But like, I tweeted at them being like... <laughs> Rob's mom messaged him like, sweetie, don't no, call me this I was, I was also worried she would see it and just tell me to delete it anyways. But Rob's like, just cyberbullying. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it fucking shit snow on us for like a full, like what, 20 hours? Yeah. And then, that was rough. Yeah, our, our neighborhood didn't get plowed for like... Wait, so that's one of them come down Saturday, right? Yeah. So, like, Sunday morning, I woke up to, like, 
the plows came by once Sunday at like 10.30 <laughs> and they left a giant snowbank in front of oh, everyone's yes. driveway. Yeah. And then they did such a shit job. There was still a line of, like, you know when the Zamboni misses that one strip down the middle? Yeah. It was like that, but with snow. And it was wide enough. <laughs> and it to, was like three feet tall. Yeah, and it was wide enough for like some people to not be able to get up. Like there was people, say, like our, our my neighbors were complaining, being like, we got to get a like, call the city and stuff. And the worst part is they leave that giant snowbank at the end of your driveway. And then it, like, it, like it kind of got a little and humid for a bit, over. and then it iced over. <laughs> it so rained. It's, it's literally a speed bump at the end of your driveway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it was absurd. so annoying. We had they, to get our, our neighbor to come like chalk it up with a freaking snowblower. They did that to Bree's driveway too. It's like literally a three foot high ice block. At the yeah, end of the it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, like who drives? They just have like trucks, but like, yeah, what are you who drives to do? these fucking snow plows? Like, do you not yeah. understand that? Like, oh, maybe I should not like just dump stuff in front of people's driveways. Okay, the whole so, point is cleaning off the street so they can drive. Rob. Oh wait. My car can't get off its own driveway because some <laughs> idiot snowplow driver is too busy hacking darts and left a big pile there. Rob, I understand your frustration. <laughs> Explain a solution. Yeah. Just like... They how, shovel how do, every driveway. How do they plow your street without leaving snow on your driveway? Yeah, literally the only it's way... It's impossible. Well, no. the only way to do it is you have someone coming behind it that shovels it back out and then they plow it again. Or there's like another there's attachment behind the car that kind of like sweeps it again over to the side or another like, beautiful segue and the reason i brought it up we're not ready to segue well, no wait, it's wait. still Ex- the same no, problem no, no, no. Ex- no, no, no. explain what you mean rob okay so there's a plow <gasps> okay. it pushes it, it, Give me it one of those. it's like a bulk tool right that but it creates like a giant pile of snow and it leaves it the thing okay. and then a second like follow-up tool comes up behind it like a brush that's like a thick bigger brush okay and yeah. just kind of breaks it down a bit doesn't leave it in a one big clump I don't mind if there's like a little bit of, at the end of my driveway. I just don't. I, I just don't think it's unreasonable for me to not want like a literal <laughs> two foot high frozen the thing is, chunk of snow. So the thing is, is the, you you plow the snow into a bank, right? Yeah. And then mm-hmm. this brush would come and skim. The skim snow then pushes back farther, and you just have a, a thicker, big bank. I'd rather have there. that than like a narrower, taller one. Thank you. Yes. My, my you feeling, you're asking yourself for like a bigger issue. At the end Inevitably, of the like if the if the bank is tall enough, you're still gonna have a fucking shitty bank no matter what, because the snow is just gonna get pushed back farther. And it's the same amount of snow. Yeah, you know the snow is not anything, going anywhere. And also, if anything, that's also gonna put it back on the street, which is then a legal issue because if there's snow and it turns into ice, then it's a whole. I don't issue know how they're gonna figure it out, but. You get the Fuck teachers em. on their day off to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him. <laughs> the only way you can... Every have... single teacher in the world has to shovel snow on their on their entire summer off. The, the no, only... no, no, no. They yeah, on they the summer, off. they're going to no, shovel snow. They, cash, they have to cash out some <laughs> of their free summer. They fly them out so like, Australia teachers are getting flown in right now to shovel snow. <laughs> they're wearing like, army uniforms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rob, Rob, the only fix that actually works... Too many but fingers is, are pointing at me, bro. But it's way too expensive and also way too time-consuming is... Flamethrowers, right? Everybody. No, the plows where instead oh. of actually plowing it, it's just a giant like snow blower, but it just takes the snow and puts it in the back and then it just fills up. But then that would fill up and then they dump fill it up somewhere. so fast. Or, or, even a, like dude, or even just a giant ass snow blower, just put, it on, put it on my lawn. I'll Man, take that. Or you fly the military out. I think that's, Those guys are, well, that's, that's what they did. That's what they did yeah, on the East Coast. I know. That, I, that's the reason I brought it up. I think that's so awesome. That is a great use. Of military when they're not doing like much guess, else, yeah. like yeah. quote unquote else. Well, cause, well, it's 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 an emergency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they're literally in a state of emergency. Like you yeah. fly out the military, they get a good workout, they yeah. stay in shape, they help the community. They literally fix everything. They're serving their country. Yeah. Like I would agree with that. Did actually. you know that uh, shoveling snow is like one of the leading causes of heart attacks in the winter? That doesn't well, surprise. What else are you doing in the winter? I mean, yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say. What else is there? We get a heart attack. Just sit from. there and watch Netflix, and they're like, "Oh, we go shovel snow," and it's not like it's an easy task. Yeah. So you? Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, no. the plow solution. Yeah, I was just. Is you get, to so you get it, like the same size truck as a plow. At the front, you put like a snowblower attachment, but inside, it's like super heated. It just so, <laughs> so it just melts all the snow as it touches it, and that snow then turns into water. It turns into ice. You have a new issue, but the snow's gone. The snow's gone. <laughs> but then, then no, that sounds like a weapon. At yeah. the end, they just open the back. It's just a giant block of ice slides and, down. And then they design. Like, but they, they design to get your car. You just skate to work. Exactly. Or they design cars that have like you. you instead of having back cars, tires, you just skates. snap in skates. <laughs> a win. And your car can just start skating. Bro. Yeah, yeah, it's have a you, win. Have you seen those attachments that you can get for like your SUVs that are basically like skis or not skis? The like treaded things that take. Yeah, yeah, oh. it's like chain tread, right? 
no, 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 like an actual what, tread. Like what you know what tanks use? How they have like the three wheels and yeah. it's like that giant tread yeah. thing. They you can get that for your car. Oh shit! But um, sign me the like, fuck up. How am I supposed like, to drift? It's like twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> how am I what? supposed to drift in this Ford, man? Because it's like Bro, it's, it's, it's a basically Honda. You have to, Honda, Honda. You have Honda to drive stuff. your car on top of it, and they're basically like treadmills, it clips in. right? So it like clips in and has to like be perfect for your yeah. car. Shit. So it's like twenty five thousand. But I think that solution yeah. will work. All I the snow is Christian's melted. Getting it. Yeah. He's gonna have the first electric tank. But but the <laughs> he's reason, gonna have two of them. The reason all this animosity from the snow for me is built up is because Saturday I, went, I was going to go see Star Wars again with a couple of buddies. Sure. And then like. I pull and I then wonder like, why he's not in the one comma club anymore. <laughs> I, I look out outside. And well, I, I, had a, I, was, I had a coupon sitting around. Okay. bars, a phone, and I went I to go see Star Wars, Wars five times. I had, I had a coupon. Just putting that out there. I'm not an idiot with my money. Yo, did you go for the free popcorn day? Was it free popcorn day? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Amanda Sun- went. I got extras. Sunday, every Cineplex gave away free popcorn. Oh mm-hmm. man. Yeah, you messed up. I messed up by a day. Yeah. Another you thing. But you were going to on that Sunday, you said. Anyway, what are you whining about? You got in your car and what? Where? Because you said you said you were going to go <laughs> you see You started this trip or something. I went to see it on Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you started this story for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday <laughs> was football. Yeah, Sunday I didn't move. Yeah. Went to the gym. That's about it. But, okay, so I was going to see Star Wars. And then, like, so I look outside. And I see my driveway is clear, thankfully. End of my driveway is still pretty fucked from the Bless plow. Up, but still, parents. Literally. <laughs> Well, my, they just say I do a shitty job, so it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, if you want it done right, do it yourself. It's like if you, if you do something shitty enough, everyone just gives up on it. So it's Sorry like, with Annie. Gives up it's on you. Um, Annie, you hear that? So then I was trying to get up my street. Like, I got midway up, but then that fucking giant line of snow that the plow left was screwing me over. So I got, like, up my street once, and then I, and then I got stuck. No, and then I was literally sitting in my car Rob's, one like Rob's this. street has like the <laughs> okay. tiniest slope. Wait, how, how heavy do you think you are that you can? It worked, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like shaking like this, trying to get my tires like, to get caught yes. on something. And it did. So I got, I so then I flattened out the little area with my car, right? Pulled back, went right up through it again. And then I stuck again. So here I am swinging back and forth in my car. trying I don't to get, think that actually did anything. It did. It did something, man. Because I'm sitting here today speaking to you. True. Uh, well, you think if you hadn't got it, I would have died. Stayed. I would have died in my car. The funny thing is, like, the theater is like a block away. <laughs> <laughs> like, you barely it need to get in your car. Far. <laughs> I had to pick someone up, okay. Oh, Even God. though they live around the corner also, but still. No, Jeez. I wish. Heartbroken. Just fucking kick it. Stop. <laughs> Better you than okay. me. Leave, leave me out of this. This is a two-man battle. I'm not in battle. You're just kicking me. <laughs> He's then, not a man. So the second time, I got like almost to the top of my street. Which leads us into our next. Thing. Yeah. And then I and then I heard the clunk, and I was like, oh fuck. And then I remembered that there's rocks at the top of my street. I drove over one by accident. It was underneath my car. <laughs> Running those <laughs> rocks. Driving Why over. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. At the corner of there's like, one house in the corner. For some reason, they have rocks covering their. Wait, so like, you were driving on their. No. Like, I ended up over there by accident. He would have been driving on their lawn. Like, he literally, he literally, I, sort of, I sort of was. He puts rocks like this big all along the edge of his property. And it's so fucking stupid. So and they only cause problems. <laughs> so then, like, I, because I was like, this Rob's like, that'll show him. When, 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 <laughs> when your tires are just burning in the snow like that, it starts taking weird angles, right? I ended up, like, kind of on his lawn. But, like, well, that's because you're not supposed to, when that's happening, you're supposed to, like, let go of the gas. And I did, man. I was just to happening. take traction control off. I don't know if Makara has that. To <laughs> yeah, be honest. It's like a 1998 Honda yeah, it Accord. Might, it might it's have not it. even cl- It's a 2006 Corolla. And the old ones, you just have to do some like voodoo shit to turn it off. Yeah, dude. Well, the thing is, I would be in just first. Just take off the tires. I would yeah. be in first, and I would park, just, reverse, and I would just tap, 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 tap the gas. Tap, go, tap. go back to reverse. Just get my front tires went back and forth as fast as I could. That way, I was just kind of like inching back and forth. Or you don't just, think that's what you're supposed to do. You just dig no. yourself a hole and yeah, then you're Yeah, that 100% just digs you a hole. Well, then anyways. But luckily, then the, when you rock, you get out no, of the No, I was going to say. Yeah, that actually saved you. And then I rocked one more time. And I got up to the top of my street, got stuck again. And then luckily, my neighbor was like, ah, I see this guy struggling. Came and gave me a nice push. Hey! And I was like. Hey. Rob's doing like Conor McGregor shoulders to get out. Speaking of that. Speaking of Conor <laughs> McGregor. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, I love it. That did was. You, did you go, watch the fight? Connor. I watched the fight. You, <laughs> yeah. didn't, you didn't watch it. You were drunk. The fight was like sweet. <laughs> yeah. I watched it. I watched all forty seconds. Drew was, oh, Drew's like, go Connor, and I was like, are you watching the fight? And I see is Drew, go Connor. <laughs> 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 but I was watching on my tablet off some bootleg stream, but it was like 1080p. Yeah, it was Ooh. pretty. Good. It was pretty good. Did um, you watch it, Christian? No bootleg stream. You mean you paid for it? Oh yeah, I I paid for it hundred percent. Yeah, he I bought paid, it from bootleg.com. I was, I, I was just joking. Mm-hmm. 
I would never stream anything what like that. What a weird joke. That's my free can. Yeah. Uh, isn't piracy <laughs> personal piracy is legal in Canada? You can't distribute it. Not that not, can, not I need to know it. that, but yeah, I think it is. I think it's only for downloading. I don't think it's for streaming. Anyways, I was I think, enjoying. No, anyway. I, think it, I think it just depends on person. Like the person streaming it. Uh, uh-uh, no, no. But if you like, use it, like if you're posting the stream, you're. I know what you're talking about because I studied this in school. They said like Canada is the like piracy safe haven of the world yeah yeah we like but pirates, I, pirates are, come but here i'm pretty sure that's yeah, bring, bring, all, bring all your rum and wooden but legs isn't it and you're, you're, you're just, like, you're just booty. actively <laughs> downloading the stream you're not though that's you're trying to get out on a technical yeah, it doesn't you're matter a way, because a way watching, to kill the conversation we were having shut up I, it doesn't matter because i was watching <laughs> perfectly <laughs> legally <laughs> on espn plus like a normal person yeah. i would never stream anything anyways i don't know shit about ufc but i just like conor mcgregor because he's a okay, wild man McGregor. so he's i don't know too much about him but like did you watch it no um we'll take 40 <laughs> seconds of your night tonight and go watch it so is he actually like supposed to be one of the best fighters yeah like yeah he's, he's like very good but people like him because he showboats a yeah, lot. He's he not. Like, he's not the best. The best is this crazy Russian dude. But named he's Khabib. one of them. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's very very good. But he he has two belts, so Khabib beat him for one. What yeah, happened but to the, the thing belt? is, like, Khabib, oh, he he took too long, didn't he? He yeah. had to give it up. And the thing is, Khabib beat him so convincingly, everyone's saying like he wouldn't stand a chance. So Khabib is this like random Russian dude I know. that like we, in, we watched that one together. Yeah. But like in his training, he's like in the water like he's swimming across frozen rivers he's wrestling bears as a kid and shit but like regardless the dude's like 28 no yeah my favorite thing from when we watched that one was when you said just watch this i'm sitting there and uh khabib grabs like his connor's leg yeah and you were just like he's never getting that leg back that leg (laughs) that leg now belongs to khabib (laughs) well it's because the dude just gets you on the ground and then just ends your life yeah but Um, uh but yeah it was just fucked because like you're everyone you watch ufc and box like if you're a normie like me slash uh, us i would assume mm-hmm. you watch boxing and mma for like fox knockouts or like yeah, crazy yeah, like yeah. high flying yeah, like, but, to see, hyped up. but to see him like he's so good at martial arts like he can yeah. weaponize any part of his body literally his shoulder was like <laughs> so was crazy but, no, like, but that's key so he even let, his penis man <laughs> like they run what? at each other at the beginning and they're like kind of grappling so they're pretty yeah. much like hugging each other and he takes his shoulder and smokes him in the head kind of misses like, but then the second shoulder, and he's like jumping into the shoulder. The second shoulder breaks the dude's nose. It went up into his fucking forehead. It's like, it <laughs> yeah, it's almost like killed him straight up. seconds into the fight, he just goes like that, breaks his nose, and then and as like soon starts as, bleeding everywhere. And, and as the, soon as that happened, he was kind of dazed. And then the next them, play yeah. is, they're like across from each other, and Conor McGregor's, all he's known for is like his left hook. Like his left, the power in his left arm is insane. Like he's knocked out many he's people. A southpaw or something. Exactly. Whatever that is, yeah. He like, he pretend, he fakes the left hook, so the guy goes to like parry the hit. And Conor McGregor just kicks him in the side of the head. Just Because like, he goes Whoop. to parry the hook, right? But then the leg comes up around the hand. Because the block the punch, you do the, this. Yeah. yeah. And, then and the, the leg comes in higher. And just, and just, just right across him. right yeah. here. And like he stuttered, he stumbled. And then Conor, just, he's on his back. Conor just beat the shit. He literally was like just kind of like pushing him down with one hand and, and feeding just, him fists with the yeah. other. Yeah. And keep in mind, again, that knockout power to the left, he was just feeding oh, those yeah. left, yeah. like clean like, shots to the dude's head yeah. down so, on his head and, and all this like if he breaks his nose shouldn't that be like it's no, not over no, no, no. it's not no. over until the guy no, wants he's to be conscious over, he's like yeah because like a busted nose isn't actually that bad yeah. you're bleeding a lot but they can as soon as the whistle because the rounds are what five minutes Th- yeah five by five i want to say so yeah. as soon as the round's over they'll just literally take him to the sidelines just jam a bunch of shit up his nose won't bleed anymore it's it, like it's like you good yeah okay bell get rings, back like it. snap the nose back put a literally but the thing is is like you're fighting so like you have a broken nose if that gets touched again you're screwed oh, man. Yeah, yeah yeah it hurts you're screwed oh. but we can't discredit the guy who was fighting because again i don't mean donald Cerrone. Yeah, yeah. He, apparently Cowboy. he was like really really good too like i don't know i don't know didn't he's know too much like about him i think in the hall of fame he just wasn't prepared for so he i think Carter just woke up and he was like i want to win today and i'm just gonna win that's literally what it was well they're talking about one training. day the Vikings will wake up oh, like that. Here we go. <laughs> it was all the training. So like the schedule, he had like a set That's schedule. What he had to do every day at what time? Yeah. Whereas the last one when he fight fought Khabib, he was literally just like he'd call his people like like an hour before training, be like, "Yo, everyone, meet here. We're training now." Yeah. And then two late, two days later, he'd do the same thing. And yeah, then three fun. days later, he'd do the same. He thing. He went through like a big like personality overhaul Correct. too. Yeah. He, so like, this time it was all scheduled regimen. Yeah. Yeah. And there's he's like known for doing this strut after he wins, which is just like a fuck you, I won. Yeah. And he didn't do it this he, time. Instead, he, he hugged over. his opponent's yeah. grandma and was like, yeah. "I'm I sorry." Didn't, I didn't see that. Can I saw it. It was after the fact. Well, like after so, the his gr- like, the guy's. It was great. when he was getting interviewed by yeah. Joe. It was a huge like, cl- like class moment. I didn't. So Connor like 
first off, like right after the fight's done, he goes straight up to the guy. He knocks. He's like, put. He's like, puts his head against him. He's like, I'm so sorry. Blah blah blah. Like, like good I fight. feel terrible. Mm-hmm. Good fight. And then, buddy's grand. The other guy who's who is. Like ass he just kicked grandma comes out and is like uh, the grandma starts beating him with the purse <laughs> no she's yeah. like she's you like hugging she's hugging the guy who connor beat and then connor goes over and is like giving her a hug saying like, i'm so sorry it's just a sport blah 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 and it then nice. and it was just like like if you went feel it, moment yeah last year if Con- you would if you had said conor mcgregor was gonna do that I'd be like you're full of shit <laughs> yeah you know, conor mcgregor would pick like, a lady up yeah. and throw her right <laughs> out of yeah. the ring hit her with a chair Get or out something of my arm, God. <laughs> literally yeah. like, so like what changed like why is he now trying to be a nice guy i think guy? he realized like it, cause, yeah. well, again he that threw training, a couple of chairs at a couple buses got that training camp before like it ruined him like yeah. it, he wasn't ready for the fight he got killed Mm-hmm. Um, so probably that probably the so he whole... just realized that being an asshole doesn't pay off. Okay, so the thing is, pretty much. Before yeah. fight. So the thing is, is he while well, he was touring around to bars doing the whiskey thing. Remember <laughs> when he some old guy? So he's just there's like I saw a ten old dudes on at a bar and they're sampling his whiskey because he's trying it. And one dude was just like, "This isn't good." And he's like roasting it. Connor just sucker punches the old guy at the bar. I saw a tweet the night of the what fight. The fuck? And it was like I saw a tweet the night of the fight. I was like, I guess sucker punching old dudes in taverns must have paid off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they were like that old dude took a left hook, but half the people in the league can't. Like, yeah. what do you mean? Like, think Red Dead Redemption two, and that's just like this life that he lives. Yeah. But like beats up cowboys. He went from being like a, the world's cockiest athlete to being like the world's most humble athlete in like a yeah, year. Yeah, we'll, well see. We'll I see. Mean, so the difference too is, well, yeah, we'll see. This guy he was facing is pretty like he's pretty class act. Yeah. So like I don't know if he goes back to someone who's not. I think if fights Khabib again, that's or gonna if he be fights fucked. All the, oh, the, even that Jorge guy, yeah, Mazdival, Mazdival, the yeah. guy who's waiting for him looks. He just showed up in like a Louis Vuitton um just robe. Yeah. The dude looks like he could. You know, he, he wants to kick his ass. Yeah, well, 100%. If you saw that guy sitting beside, I would be terrified. Yeah, I would not be trying to go close to any of those guys. I mean, you Conor McGregor. <laughs> Speaking of Louis Vuitton, no, segue. another segue. Let's go. Um, We're on our shit tonight. A completely different topic, kind of, is talking yeah. about esports. Is like kind a, of the point of a, a lot of people on Twitter now are like going crazy roasting e-sports. uh esports players because a lot of them are just throwing their money away at like louis vuitton and mm-hmm. i think that's I'm, a very valid thing so well, yeah so um i won't like talk then too much about their finances because i don't know never talk but, about that man's money <laughs> unless it's mine on a podcast <laughs> <laughs> um, a whole so, segment yeah. yeah there's there's one team in siege that's known for at every single event they go to like louis vuitton or gucci or whatever and they buy like a couple thousand dollars are, are you gonna name drop or no doesn't matter. Team Reciprocity. Oh, okay. That everyone knows them because they literally post about it all the time. They're like, oh, look, I got this Louis Vuitton bag or whatever. Yeah, and they do that every event. You're about to go one and eat ramen every other day of the year. <laughs> and like, So there's arguments to be made because it's like, okay, let's say you go to one event every three months, right? Okay. And at the event, even if you place like last, you still got probably like $2,000 out of it. So $2,000, yeah. <laughs> do you and have pay to for- pay for your own flights and stuff? <laughs> no. Okay, all right. All right. Um, so, like, they're not paying for anything there. Mm-hmm. Put it all so on like, red. <laughs> you get that 2K and you can Put it over red. buy something from that store and you're even. And if you do better, you can buy even more if you want. Yeah, or like, just have or you could just not buy Gucci and save But, money. yeah, there's that argument of that. Um, so, like, there's a lot of beef been going around people being like, oh, stop being, like, fuckboys and wasting all your money. And, like, <laughs> actually start investing. Because one guy, I think he owns cloud nine maybe or like one guy who was sure. really hype in one of the esports orgs was talking about how he, like people were um mentioning in his comments being like what about this player he's like okay he went through and like broke down he's like this guy bought like five cars last year he's like this is the worst thing you could fucking do so, okay so here's Why? the thing well here's the thing i have a take who on this but i'll wait f- who fucking cares it's their money they want to spend all their money so it doesn't matter if they want to save all their money sweet mm-hmm. like who cares what he was saying was he's like just so you guys know like your your careers economy. are going to be short-lived yeah well, like, I mean, he's, somehow. And, but he's like a lot of these people don't realize that <laughs> that's because their... they're what 19 20 year old kids they, they, who are just getting in there yeah. they're like oh my god i'm making millions of dollars per year this is awesome and they think it's going to last mm-hmm. and like you guys need to realize that it's not like obviously no one teaches them that because it's a very well, brand new yeah. industry. They'll learn quick. So like that's what he was trying to do is being like, you guys need to stop throwing your money away at Gucci and Louis Vuitton and actually like start investing your money. So I have the but. exact opposite story of this, and I was watching Million Dollar uh Million Dollar Arm, I think it's called. And it's a movie based Million on a true Arm. story. Okay. And this guy wins ten thousand dollars. He's like from this remote village in India and he wins ten thousand dollars. He's like never seen this much money as Slumdog Millionaire? No, no. He <laughs> buys his father a new delivery truck. Fucking wholesome. Oh, yeah. 
What's it cost ten thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, it was a nice truck. But that seems like a really cheap truck. Not, not where not, not it's, it's it's yeah. it's India though. It's like a village, oh, okay. like a slum in India. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, one dude has a truck. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's gonna hate him. You're gonna steal it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's probably why the guy awesome. tweeted that. He's just like, no, you shouldn't be buying that truck. You should be investing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> but oh, I agree with Shane. Where it's like. Yeah, like they're yeah, gonna want, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Who I cares? You should step in if they're like bankrupting themselves. Like, I don't even care if they bankrupt themselves. I guess yeah, which then, most of as, them are. I guess the, we're not gonna, not like saying in siege. Like I'm saying overall in esports, a lot of the people like, are bankrupting. I, I themselves. get roasting them. I I roast my some of my boys when they buy what I deem to be unnecessary amounts of like fashion or something like that. But at the end of the day, it's like I don't, don't they buy too I don't much protein. I don't genuinely <laughs> get upset by the fact of doing that's it. I just think it's stupid. The thing is, is like that's society now. Like yeah. ha- isn't like a third of Canada in debt? Like. Half actually, Canada? I was I was listening to this on the radio, Probably, like, CBC Radio One, yeah. and it was like I think half of Canadians are like two hundred dollars away from like insolvency. Like, yeah, and we're not talking like most of it's not household debt. Usually, no, it's, no, like, it's like credit shit card debt. debt. Yeah, so like we're talking like a lot. This is, that's this not is mortgages. Just, that's this like is credit just cards. Canada. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. you guys are telling you see a lot of credit card debt. Like people with like. Forty thousand dollars of credit card debt. That's why I'm yeah. scared to get I one. I didn't interest rate of nineteen point nine. I know I'm not going to be that fucked. Yeah. But still. it's like. Well, like, that's like twenty percent interest on that year. That's like, crippling. You pay yeah. five hundred dollars a month, and that's only interest. It's like to get even close to the principal, you need anything else, and then you're like chipping away a hundred dollars at a time. Like you're never. Yeah, it's like depressing. Rid of that. I have a I have a buddy who's like he's like I don't know if he's an advisor or something, but he tells me he's like man. He always tells like some of our friends, he's like, you guys got to make sure your shit's together. So I end up like this guy who's like sixty years old with like, a mortgage to pay off, and he's got ten k to his name. You know what I mean? So you got to, he's like, you got to figure your shit out well in advance before you well, end up like this. And mm-hmm. the problem is, like, if you get a credit card, there's obviously going to be scenarios where you can't use it. Like, like you're sub- in theory, you use credit like debit, and then you just pay it off. You get rewards, benefits, whatever. Mm-hmm, yeah. And there's obviously going to be cases where that's just not possible, but it's like. You, you have to make sure but you try and stay on top of it. Again, that's that's literally again half of Canada. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. sure we've talked about this before, but you guys know like credit's primarily just like a North America thing, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. really popular outside of North America. Yeah, because it's sketchy. Yeah, like Europe only uses really debit. Uh, South America mainly uses cash. I just wish, Asia mainly I just uses wish ca- credit cash. wasn't such a giant part of making any big purchase because you, mm-hmm. you need credit. Like I'm going to have to get a credit card. Like, well, I usually, should have yesterday. but Usually it's just an easy way to circumvent like limits and yeah stuff. and like liabilities too but right? like in theory if you spend a grand on a credit card and you can't spend that on debit then you just move you the money just... into that account yeah mm-hmm. and if you but can't afford it you shouldn't you should, have spent yeah. it yeah yeah but <laughs> i've already had this rant with you it's like credit's the stupidest fucking thing in the world yeah i, I love it i made a lot I, of people I, a lot if, of money though i agree you, with you, you I, properly, I think it's stupid there's nothing no like I'm, or i mean more like credit score and stuff like it doesn't oh, well, it, yeah. it really is the stupidest fucking thing in the world because let's say just because I know you have a way better credit score than me. And like if you were to apply for a house, no deal. <laughs> like a loan for a house, I yeah. Like you would be like a shoe in for it whereas I would be a much more higher risk even though I could probably in reality, I could be pay better it off. Paying, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Honestly, Which makes no sense. This thing is real is two main forms of But it's of like I've also stuff. worked in my credit score since yeah. I was 18. But like, like I've had a credit card since I was 18. I I have two. But like the thing is though like it just that's, that's the weirdest argument ever. Yeah. No. Fucking big dick and you yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> I've had a credit since I was 18. I've been in debt since I've been 12. <laughs> Jesus. I, I'm just saying, like, but that, that baffles my mind that. My mortgage is for years. <laughs> that, that baffles my mind that, like, just because maybe I missed a payment on, like, one card 10 years ago, like, that can fuck me over. For Drew's over here, like. And what's Drew gonna say? You shouldn't, shouldn't have missed, missed it. it. <laughs> Drew is literally going to sit down, you know, him and Bree, they, they find a nice house. They sit down to get a mortgage, okay? And the guy's like flipping through like, oh, wow, the credit score is great. It says here you owe a, a friend $15. <laughs> <laughs> and you've owed him for a year. <laughs> and he's like, what? About what, too? This is a bet? I was like, oh. Just oh, get out of here. gambles. <laughs> Security. <laughs> It's uh, perfect. That was, that was a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna send him to collections. Now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's actually it's hilarious. It's a dude knocking. Actually, it's ten dollars now because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose that bet we just made. Oh yeah, hundred percent. one, yeah, you lost it for sure. Yeah, maybe. Drew, Drew made a bet, bet with me on like a core mechanic of Smite, 
that I like, got it confused. We've with we've been playing for two years now wait, or more. Wait till the twenty eighth and just pray it changes in the new update. <laughs> yeah. basically, basically, I told you. Basically, <laughs> Last what, hint. what he was saying is: so in Smite, there's minions, right? And Mignones. if you hit the minion and kill it with your like whatever ability, you get more gold than if it just dies to other minions or a tower. Okay. Okay. But they made a thing where for a while it was like I think if a tower hit it, you got no gold. <laughs> And then they updated where, like, okay, if a tower hits it and kills it, you get only 25% of the total You get a gold. fraction. Like, yeah. it's, it's a much smaller percentage, but you still get something. And Drew's like, no, as long as you're the one who last hits it, even if a tower hits it, you still get the full gold. And it's so like, funny because Christian's no. at the dinner table obviously, like, bet. Hands ready to go. And I'm <laughs> explaining to Drew, like, no, Drew, this is how it works. Don't do it. It's not like this. And Drew just turns, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Christian's the best businessman ever. So, like, put your hand out like this. We're like still talking about it, whatever. And he's just like, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, like, every business deal ever has been sold that way. It's like Amazon and stuff. That's like, all right, $15 million. <laughs> yeah. You're right. He's it's like, going to scratch his head, just grabs it. Oh, <laughs> Just like pulls it out of your pocket. <laughs> you should know all about that. You're, you look like a dirty car salesman. Yeah, uh, you, you grab, not that, you've yeah. grabbed a couple hands for uh, handshakes. And oh, like for that, sure. Yeah car salesman i wish no I, I could see it one of my favorite Rob's comments like, this corolla she's a beaut just give her a slap on the butt <laughs> my car i mean she'll go zero to 110 seconds that's real good trust me <laughs> do you remember that meme that amelie made of you no i don't who it was like she took uh she's someone from the community i don't know if she's still around mainly Shout on twitch amelie. but she grabbed rob's profile you photo no where he looks like an old like, used car salesman and made like a whole meme about it where it's just like this baby can go from like zero oh, to that, that was pretty it's like good. slaps roof of the car <laughs> Sla- that's like that's because there was a whole slaps roof <laughs> meme going on right and then i just see that one was put in the discord i think and i was yeah. just like these people have too much time on their fucking hands <laughs> that, like, car great. salesman where like he finally sells the car they get in you like slap the trunk to go and just the muffler falls <laughs> yeah. off that's supposed to happen yeah exactly yeah, yeah. oh it's a feature it's removable sorry it's just a scary guys it's fine <laughs> It's just a prank. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a prank. Back in your car, man. Jeez. You already paid for it. <laughs> you shook my hand. It counts. I was like, no dude, refunds. We shook on it. There means just no refunds. It's like, it's like, man, what do you work for? No again? refunds on underwear and cars. Imagine I have like my own like used car sales like, tech tent. And then like, in a car dealership parking lot. And I just like govern it myself. <laughs> and then, everyone thinks it's with the dealership, but it's not. Yo, is that, is I've, that been, legal? I've been seeing some of the new dealerships pop up in our area and they're getting really nice. Like, Which did you guys one? see the new BMW yeah. one? Where's you that? Know it's by the bridge over the expressway. Um, It's like not I close to where it. you guys live. I'll it's uh, like I on the way to know. like Firehouse? No. Doesn't matter. But it, uh, anyways, yeah. whatever. It's like a BMW. Like no, it's, it's a Volkswagen um, das dealership. Auto. Das Auto. It's closest to the... Uh, that's in Germany right now. It's by Costco? Another great No, segue. close to like the Sobeys. <laughs> Is he at the Third Reich? Yeah. yeah. But anyways, like the dealerships are looking really nice now. Like, they've they're always all, been nice, man. No, they're getting way better now. Nah, man. Like, you're crazy. <laughs> but like okay. it makes sense. Like hey, they're slowly going to look super, super, super There's nice. so yeah. much money in that industry. Like... got to crack into it, nah, man. That's a dying oh, industry. That's like... Tesla's not, though. <laughs> Did you see the, the uh, you probably Man. haven't, but have you guys seen okay. the, uh, like the it. information about how Tesla has been affecting like the sedan market? It's no. nuts. Like you only see, guys are, only people who have Teslas have read that article. Obviously probably. like yeah, the model like, three only oh, just, yeah, I, I did it. The model three <laughs> only just came chat. out recently, but so like, basically if you look at the graph, Tesla went like skyrocket high mm-hmm. because of the model three and every other like sedan dropped by at least like 10 20 but the thing 10 20 percent to them is like sedans are the market right now mm-hmm. like ca- car companies are getting it at cars they're getting it at uh, maybe not trucks there's crossovers always a market, are but, the biggest well, is but, it, like, is it sedan, Ford that's only making trucks now yeah, yeah. for only that? makes trucks now one, one of those big com- i don't know if it's ford or gm mm-hmm. but they're like we're only making trucks now mm-hmm Trucks and like one specific SUV. Yeah, mm. they're like we're we're stopping Kay. production of cars, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's Ford. On stream, you're having that conversation about like, oh, if everybody just switched to electric right now, like mm. get rid of gas cars. Yeah. And you're like, but it's not happening because there's too much money. I'm pretty sure has BC not like mandated by like. Yeah. I think it's 2030. California, I think, did like 2022 or you, something. California is insanely aggressive. Everything's but all it is is like for them, it's all like an, it's just 
you, we can't no one in california can sell a gas powered car right yeah they're doing that in bc but i think it's 2025 2030 somewhere around there that's good it's, I like, it's, it's still it's, slow it's more, but that's, but that's better, progress but the thing is is like no other place has announced it and mm-hmm. like ontario will be by far the last oh yeah exactly. especially if we have our current man, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Of the i mean conservatives that some people vote for i would no NDP. man it so many cities <laughs> you did this this was literally <laughs> all you so so you, many you cities your white privilege you did this. <laughs> so many cities in ontario just rely on car production though no that's actually you very fair that. wealth alliston ontario literally their whole town is built a around plant. a honda plant okay so hear me out hell we're basically <laughs> built around a toyota plant hear me out this is no, crazy not, you idiot but guess what <laughs> we're both yeah, around school no, we're not yeah man i think we'd survive without it well, now, idiot. Drew. <laughs> Oshawa GM. We're both. Drew. So many people uh, lost. They hate to break there. it to you, but you can still produce cars even if gas cars are banned because there's electric. That's fine. Whoa. I know it's what? crazy. So these towns can still survive if they okay. just change the plant over to electric cars. But what does the Ontario cars? government have to do with Toyota's decision to produce electric vehicles? Because Ontario government doesn't believe in climate change right now. Okay. What? That that, that has no, nothing so to do with this. I thought your whole argument was An saying that... An Ontario that's... government can't make a Japanese car company produce electric vehicles. Yes, they can. No, they Cause can't. Because they can just say, you're not selling these here anymore. Yeah, There's no incentive to. for them okay. to make it. And then they just like, all right, see ya. Bye. You, okay, so let me get this straight. You're saying that if every single state and every single province enlisted... There saying, would be a lot of incentive saying, to Saying that you couldn't electric. sell any gas cars. You're saying that some companies would be like, okay, fuck off. We're leaving. You know what? You know what? We're out of the car industry. No. It wasn't for us, guys. We're done. We're done. No, you're, you're, done. Fucking, you're, no, no, you're, you're fucking idiot if you actually think <laughs> that they would just out. I only think electric vehicles bikes. are great. I just don't think one specific pro- province's government <laughs> no, is but we're the saying... deciding factor about the whole fucking country being on electric vehicles. First off, we're saying that Ontario would be the last one. Yeah, that was the debate. So that right. means so that means every other province would have to do it first, and, and then just, Ontario would be like, and then ah, Ontario would do it. Part where it's my fault. That okay, the so then so so because you're voting conservative. No, no, and then we so evolved like, into with our current government. Even if we were the last ones, we would never change. Man, this is what I hate about politics, and it's not just you, but like everyone just always solos in on one specific issue that matters to them the most, and then if you don't agree with that one issue. You're just a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Drew is spitting facts, though. I okay. will say, when we when we were discussing uh, politics political back and forth, it. you did the same thing, though. How? Because the only thing you cared about was the economic plan and nothing else. Yeah. But that just covers you so much You literally don't more. care that your, your child is never going to see a real tree. Of course I care. No, you no, didn't. You Man, politics is so dumb in itself. It's all They all just say shit. They no, try and get stuff done, and they never ever get anything done anyway. And it's literally just 100% fluff. It's so stupid. You know, you can fluff the environment a little better and keep us happy. <laughs> but like those things are going to happen from the private sector anyway. Nah. They are. Tesla. Literally exhibit A. Okay. So after like 150 <laughs> years of gas dominance, finally one company comes out after we've already fucked the world to the point yeah. where it can't be recovered. It was literally so it was, no, no, it was literally the conservatives 150 years ago man, that did this. None of, none of these when problems. Drew's great grandparents <laughs> yeah. voted for conservatives. None they're of like, these oh, problems this, are from us. These like, are all from fucking baby boomers. They're, this, they're like, this is a great economic plan. Cars are a great investment. <laughs> Fucks over the whole world. I see Drew's, Thanks, Drew's grandparents. I see Drew's point where it's not such an ultimatum. Like, this happens, so this happened. You know what I mean? There's more gray area well, okay, than so, that. So if they said, if they came through and just said, like, Canada has to nope they can't sell gas cars by 2030 yeah everything everyone producing cars in canada would be like i some would leave and some would stay but the majority majority of them would just start to retool for electric yeah yeah so the big issue and this i talked about on the stream i'm sure you may or probably heard it was i said right now the big issue is that no company is incentivized to switch over to electric because they're like oh we'll just let tesla do all of the research and get all the technology and then we're just going to steal it Whereas if you install, what's insult- wrong with that? Nothing. 
technically. There's nothing wrong with it in terms that's of business. In but listen, 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 listen. It's just the ethics of it. That's it. No, I don't fucking care about the ethics. <laughs> the issue <laughs> oh, yeah, is that these companies this guy's a dictator. Are, will, are able to like completely pollute and do whatever they want because they don't have a reason to switch over. See, which I get from an economic standpoint. You're like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing in the world. Free but see, market. If, if all of a sudden, but, if all of a sudden Canada was like, hey, by 2030, like you can't sell gas cards. All of a sudden these companies are like, oh shit, we need to get We're into fucked. this yeah. market. We should probably probably start doing the research a lot of them and are doing and it anyway though. no at the like lowest possible rate uh if you look at every well, major like car dealership can't be choosers man they like i mean you, you, like, you can, you you can just, start to be a bit of a you have to praise people sometimes you can't just constantly fucking but, like, yell so at them. i don't i don't agree at the lowest but if you look at all the major producers like like dodge just came out with their their van completely electric um, which is like their caravan has always been one of their biggest things. Audi didn't, has a fully electric car. Didn't now. Ford just come out with like an electric truck? Or as soon as Tesla released announced theirs, Ford is like, hey, this is what we're making. They're still a year or two out. Yeah, they did a whole PR stunt where it pulled like three trains or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something <laughs> stupid. Yeah. But anyway, regardless, Ford is three, LR, three LRTs. There's, there's so many like engineering <laughs> explain because <laughs> the LRTs didn't work. <laughs> but anyway, because that explains why they're so slow. <laughs> but regardless, Ford now has a truck. Like I don't it's even think it's a concept. I think it's past that. So they're all they all have like one uh, their biggest car electric. Yeah. So they're making progress. They are. The issue though is that a lot of these cars that they're coming out with have absolutely garbage range. There's That's I think, fair. I think the Audi, like, no, 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 listen, listen. The Audi one that you guys are talking about, I'm pretty sure has like a 200 kilometer range. <laughs> so like, and they're charging more than a Tesla. In true, 200 so, kilometers. So, wait, so, so, so you guys hear about gas. the Canadian Tire? Canadian Tire wait, wait, is putting before, electric before. charging stations at all their locations. So, that makes sense. The 200 kilometer range. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You're saying, okay, great. This company's selling an electric car. Who the fuck's gonna buy that? Rob would Rob would have burned Man. that 200 kilometers literally on his street spinning the tires. <laughs> 200 so much kilometers. You care about the environment, I dude. Guess. 200k is enough to go get gas and come back. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so like, I get the whole thing. <laughs> Jeez. Shit. I get the whole thing of like you know just praise them for at least doing something, but they're doing like the very minimum. They still but did like, it though. They didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. They didn't have to. Yeah, they didn't they have did to. Well, but it's also just fucking over the rest of the world it's because just, they're choosing it's just to saying we did our part Let's if move all on. these people are yelling why don't you go start an electric car company because i fucking can't i don't have the why money why not i'm too stupid <laughs> you think get the investors <laughs> Dude, i'm too stupid How do you think elon did it with he's, his he's own money genius. right he started paypal he, he raised capital and then went to electric cars yeah it's true. i was gonna say you're an idiot we're, we're all idiots <laughs> I mean, and also, speak for yourself, guys. Rob, please. <laughs> <laughs> and also... <laughs> you, have, oh, you also have to remember, he started this 10 years ago. It's too late now for me. Like, if I am going to go through the whole process of trying to make money so I can finally start in a car company to make Man, electric cars, cars, by the time yeah. that happens, I'm going to be 50 and the world's already going to be polluted to shit and your kids are going to be coming out with third arms because you voted conservative. Yeah. <laughs> third arms. Is, is kids just going to literally like, it's going to be like the baby. Be and, like, the doctor's like, okay, like goes to reach in for the baby and the kid just comes out in the ATV. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, like, turn just like black smoke coming out the back of the <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Hunter's like, you're making dad proud. <laughs> My boy cries. It's probably yeah. a Tony Hawk t-shirt. Yeah. Varsity cars, man. Comes out conservative yeah, That's blue. the future. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> if only we had more oxygen. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just imagining a baby going on. Just imagining a baby driving ATVs hilarious to begin with. I just imagine like oh, flailing off the handlebars. <laughs> That's probably the darkest joke you've ever made. If only we even... had more oxygen. Rob, did you get that? Sort of. Uh -oh. <laughs> like if a baby comes out blue. <laughs> I don't get it. I uh, can't no, breathe. Can't breathe. He's dead. Like the his skin is blue. Or yeah, it's, yeah, that's what Shane was saying. I'm so conservative. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying it came like 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 a Smurf or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, he found that more hilarious. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? The Smurfs? making a short joke about Drew and Bree. <laughs> no, it's a blue I joke. Bree out of this. <laughs> <laughs> she voted green. Hey, hey. <laughs> There's some hope. Let's go. It'd be an orc baby in that case, then. Oh, shit. <laughs> it became a green. Oh, it was so fucking yeah. dark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> <laughs>
I just caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I just pretended to. I just pretended oh, to. Ten seconds ago. Brought anyway, brought it to an hour, hour, so we got 15 minutes left. I think it's awesome that Canadian Tire is doing that. Mm-hmm. And that in itself I didn't is know a that apparently, big incentive. To <laughs> apparently it's a trip. law that hotels have to have chargers. Do they? Yeah, I didn't know that. Like, all hotels have destination chargers. You kicked me one really? more fucking time. I thought that was Drew, to be honest. <laughs> so, like, you know the, the car charger I have, right? Mm-hmm. Every hotel in, in Canada has one. Oh. Because they have to have like, one only legally. Only one? Like, like, they have to legally have, I think, three. That's it? What the hell? So, every single hotel has one, because... Um, when we were talking, fact checking, I, or it might be Ontario, but, um, I'm, I know that it's a law because when we were talking to the one, like other Tesla guy in our apartment who pulled up in front of us, he's like, Oh, I just always go charge at the hotel. Like the one nearby. Have like, they hotel. have those chargers. <laughs> I was like, Oh, I didn't know they had that. He's like, yeah, it's a law. Like, Interesting. Oh. Imagine yeah. owning a hotel and some asshole comes up to you and says, Hey, you have to buy and install an electric car charger or we're shutting down your entire fucking <laughs> fa- facility. Or you're done. What'd you find, Drew? Oh, I got distracted. I sent Bree. <laughs> I sent, <laughs> no, no, no. I sent I'll, Brie I'll, like I'll an, look it up. I sent oh. Bree like an e transfer for $300 on the weekend and she is awful at depositing it. She like takes three weeks to deposit money. So I'm just like, You have to deposit it. And now, and now it she's like trying to answer my security question. But it's like, so a week later, something so she's sexual? like, I don't want to have to decline this. Can you like, help me? I'm like, why didn't you just deposit it when I gave it to you so in the first place? Speaking phase? of Drew getting distracted, yeah. we're leaving the keg. And right before we leave the keg, Christian's like, I need to stop at Canada Computers to pick up one thing. Man, okay? it was like 10 minutes before we left. Regardless, like within a reasonable time. Yeah. So we're, we're leaving the keg and we're going past the mall, right? And then there's the highway. Okay. And Christian and Annie are in the car literally right in front of us and Wait, who's driving out of you two he is okay so he he, so he literally then. gets into the car and he picks up his little fish and just starts <laughs> fucking destroying them. so he's Sweet already fish. he's gone he's distracted oh he's, i'll blame you he can barely drive well, after that bag was out there yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. so he can barely drive at this point but you know what he's multitasking just enough <laughs> to be able to drive and eat fish what he forgets Candy. is he forgets that we're going to Canada Computers and just gets on the fucking highway. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, Drew, where are you going? And he's like, oh, this is the way I always go. I'm like, to Canada Computers. we're not going to Christian's house, dude. And he's like halfway around the bend. He's like, oh, oh yeah, fuck. Because uh, <laughs> like we were driving and I kept seeing whenever Annie was switching lanes, like Drew was falling. I'm like, okay, they're keeping pace with us. And then I'm just like looking out the window and I see you guys drive by. <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> I was like, why are they going onto the highway? Christian texts me like, yo, remember we need to, we go, need to, to go to Keg Computers. Not too much. We're pulling out of the keg and like, so we're at a parking spot here oh, and no. Andy and Christian are parking spot here. And they like come in. Andy's driving and I honk the horn as they go by. And he's like, it was the <laughs> nastiest look. It was such a dirty look. And oh, fuck. They're, it was she so learned from the best. I can't find anything on it, but I know it, uh, Tesla has like something about destination oh, charging. Oh, yeah, you, you probably just made it up, cool. so it's whatever. Yeah, okay. yeah. Probably, probably made it up. You're, you're it doesn't matter. He's not invested enough in green energy as it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is probably going to go to the hotel after podcast rip it and out. rip it out. <laughs> That's like a, 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 it's like a reverse social activism. First dude to get electrocuted by car charger. <laughs> grabs the scissors. <laughs> Rubber coated scissors. Uh, I think electric vehicles are awesome. Are you, yeah. Do you mean that? Yeah. So what, so what we've learned from Drew, um, he's he hates the environment. <laughs> um, he's a racist. <laughs> what else have we learned Literally from from started. starting this podcast? <laughs> Fucking uh, suing you for slander. <laughs> <laughs> it's not slander. It's things you've said. <laughs> Christian says are the biggest. I'm winner. adding Christian to the lawsuit. <laughs> yes, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm just gonna be impartial. Hey, you can add on to your existing lawsuit. You guys have. Bro, if you want to join me, they they slander you too. I'll Could be you a- imagine the, the the judges reading through like the charges Drew's going through and uh, the article of fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like goes through the whole list and then that. Like, oh, that should be number one priority. Yeah. Like, what do you He's mean? Like, the judge like not guilty, not guilty. Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> it's like if nothing else, I'm only 15 bucks. That's yeah, all yeah, I exactly. Want. It's so funny. He's like, yeah, you know what? We 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 side with Drew in every single case except this fifteen dollars at the bottom. He's like, what? Here. He's like, I, need, I need a new lawyer. It's like, man, you want everything else but this? You just, just like, no, man. You just want hundreds of thousands. I need that. I need fifteen. That, that fifteen dollars is Supreme worth Court. Way more. You <laughs> should take us to judge. The audacity. You should take us to Judge Judy. Have you heard about like how they 
do their pay structure and stuff oh they just pay you to come on it and then like i don't know I, so I, yeah I, it's I basically that it. so um when you come on they say okay each of you are earning two thousand five hundred or say okay. just for being on the show and then let's say we are on our uh spiel at the end judge Judy's like okay drew you owe christian fifteen dollars like that's my ruling yeah. They just take the like you don't have to pay me. They take it out of his paycheck. So instead of two thousand five hundred, he gets two thousand four hundred eighty five, and I get twenty five fifteen. But what if it's over that? They just like deduct it. I don't know if it'll ever be over. They probably just, just they probably have that, like small claims. They probably it's, have it's that usually like there, less yeah. than two thousand dollars. Dude, that show is so funny. That's man. why everyone wants to go on it. They're like, I don't want to pay cash. anything. I know I'm wrong. <laughs> and yeah, so like people go on there just be like, fuck it, I don't want to pay, but like let's just get this settled. So we should do that. <laughs> is there <laughs> is there a, is there a Canadian <laughs> Judge Judy? We judge like Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> judge Dougie. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys saw it. It was kind of depressing, but there was like a, there's a paternity court one, um, where they're like trying to settle who should get paternity and like uh, finding Bro, out if you're the like father or not. Took my <laughs> Um, and there was a recent one that like went Jesus. viral on Twitter. I think it went viral today or Reddit, and it was where the judge comes out and she reads like she's like okay this is a paternity test and the dad was trying to fight for like custody and the mom was like no because the dad cheated and then she reads and she's like you're not the father and the mom starts cheering and like celebrating and the judge is like shut the fuck up and like <laughs> tells her to quiet down she's like the dad was crying like yeah. on the floor crying because he wanted custody of the daughter and the judge is like this man's life just got ruined because of the paternity test yeah and because she cheated on him as well because he cheated on her. Oh, so, like, cluster. And then she's like, now this daughter of yours is going to grow up without a dad, not knowing who the father is, and knowing that she lost out on this dad who wanted to take care of her because you were petty enough to like go cheat on It'd him. Be the worst is the kid you. would definitely have access to that show. When she oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was three. So like within oh. 10 years. 100 percent gonna see that it's a disaster that's fucking shitty that's mm -hmm. when the judge just needs to be like you won this case but stop cheering because your daughter's yeah, going with cps <laughs> yeah i would have just been like fuck it daughter's going with the kid you th i think you're a scumbag that you don't deserve you to have a kid no, no, i know they can't do that but, like, that's why i'm not a you're judge. also going to jail <laughs> <laughs> you're going to jail uh you're gonna get executed and you're gonna get 50 bucks get this get this man a, get this you, man a tv show could you imagine there's like death row and they're just like what are you in for Judge Judy, she uh, <laughs> she sent me to death row. <laughs> it's like you're a die my right here and now on my TV $15 show. And here I am. <laughs> Just like a hooded fucking axe dude comes out on Judge Judy to do the deed. Jeez. Sir Gregor himself. <laughs> Knew who Yikes. that is? Yes. Okay. I watched Game of oh, Thrones. Oh, yeah. Game of Thrones, yeah. <laughs> we talked about it. We had a podcast. I always forget. It's literally somehow. like the oh, first podcast. Which, by the way, reminds me. I wanted oh. to do something special, like a specific podcast where we, where we have like a very. I was thinking 20, and then I was like, wait, we're on nah, 30. 30, sure. Um, but I was 25. thinking, like, 25. Like, okay. every quarter, we can do, like, a special podcast where we talk about, like, one specific topic. I think for the first one, it would be really entertaining if we did conspiracy theories. Yeah. Love it. Uh, that was my... And, like, we all bring in one that we'd, like... Uh, we, we know should about research it. We could like yeah, generally research it. believe, and then like each person pitches it to everyone else, and then we see how everyone reacts to it. Because yeah. the one that we already did, we sort of touched on it. That was a good one. I got yeah. lost in that conversation. Yeah, pretty everyone quick. in the comments is like Christian. There's too much. Now what Operation Paper? Yeah, Clip apparently is. mixed up the names. But there's like... there's too many well actuallys, but like we can get through those if we have to. Mm -hmm. But that was fun. But that's that also fun. like that was me browsing a Reddit thread. Yeah, and like yeah, throw, yeah. Throwing it out there, whereas this we would actually like research it and yeah. talk about it. It was I Operation Nimrod. Homework, homework. I gave that up ten years ago. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Christian got I his just, office supplies mixed homework, up. Homework. My homework will be watching a YouTube video. Yeah, and then bring it in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's Exhibit A. It just plays the video. For Rob us. makes like a full on PowerPoint that like, gets you to put the TV. It's, or like, the, the it's like the picture there. from the what's the show with like Always Sunny and the one guy that looks crazy. He's got a whiteboard behind him pointing at it. That'll be me. Oh, I love it. Too. Verbal memes. Yeah, we can't it? hang a TV there because yeah. now we have art. Do you guys oh, like our we decorations? Didn't, we didn't even talk about it. Once. No, yeah, it's Canadian artwork. Um, so it's Canadian Rob, from IKEA. The bear represents Rob. Uh, the bird represents Shane because he likes to fly and be free and, and chirp. And he's so tall. And he above likes to chirp. He looks that's down. A, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's he looks down at oh, everyone. That's a really good one. It was all stupid until then. <laughs> And, Moose, uh, you guys are sharing it. Yeah, which one are you? I'm yeah. the front two legs. <laughs> yeah, so this caution where it's like someone's the ass, someone's the front. Yeah, Drew would be the ass. Yeah, I'll be the ass. 
Sure. <laughs> well, you, you're not that tall. Give me no. like, give me like the ass and one antler, and we're we're set. Sure. No, you're not that tall. Dude. Dude. Spit, spit down at the That's half, true. but like not this way. I can, and, I can be uh, the hooves, and Christian can be the rest. And, and Drew is. Do you guys see the scuff on the wall? <laughs> Actually, we should show. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm one of the least wise this time. Can I see that? Yeah, there's no uh, way. That's, that's not, that. not going to show up. But we had to put the we uh we don't like take like measures. six times. <laughs> Oh. 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 Rob, it's Rob. not that it's a hole. You should be good at putting in the hole. I used, to, I used no, to, it's slanted. Yeah, it's I used crooked. to be good at that. No, it's slant, no, no. Anywho, Left. we're uh, we're working on the rest of the go. walls too. We um, we're still waiting for that. We've fucking got some shipment. foam coming in. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you have a foam party in here? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to have a foam party. Panels eventually. I, I ordered that in November. Forever ago. It's still waiting. <laughs> did you, did you pay for it already? Yeah. yeah. It's, well, it's because it, it got here. That's pretty sketchy. <laughs> it got here, and then they said they had the wrong address, so they shipped it back immediately oh, right. instead of actually Oof. calling me. And then uh, I emailed them Fucking with like, the correct idiots, address. Man. They just didn't have the apartment number. And so they were just like, no, it's dead. Man, you'd think they could leave it with, like, somebody. Yeah, just leave it, in, or leave just it closer call. to here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, My yeah. phone number's on there. You can call me. But then at the same time, you probably should have just given them your address. I did. I gave them the correct one. It's just always... So, you know how whenever you're entering out information, it always says, like, address line one, address line two? Yeah. I always, like, or sometimes it autofills the apartment number to be an address line two. Apparently, that fucks everything up. Interesting. Oof. Because that's what happened with my Corsair headset as well. Imagine because my apartment. address was literally just my apartment number. Mm-hmm. And that's it. True. Imagine owning. Imagine owning an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> just owning anything. <laughs> Imagine having a comma in your bank account. <laughs> oh come on. All right, man. that's enough for me. I'm out. Of <laughs> All right, I'm out. Of. Hey man, right. you'll have one again cool. in a week. I do want to ask, what the fuck is this? Why do you have a? Yeah, I don't know. It's why like, is there a button halfway? It's because like so. Like, yeah, yeah, no, you look, can, look. You can roll, you roll it, up. it up. No, like you pull. There's a string inside here somewhere. <laughs> I know it is. Oh, they get the easy roll. Yeah, and then you just do like that. Oh, yeah. but your man, your veiny arms here, that's are that's too. Sick. Oh, what oh, the hell? Oh, oh, oh. Get this man rock climbing. No, get this oh, man some water. Geez. He's dehydrated as shit. I actually am yeah, pretty dehydrated. Yeah, My voice is starting too. to get kind of cracky. That's nutty. Yeah, man, we gotta Holy get you a rock. Jeez, what are you doing Friday? Uh, no, don't go Friday. Why? Because I'm not here. Bree's coming. I'm not it's, here. It's your, it's your <laughs> fault that you can't stand up to a shitty thing Annie wants you to do. <laughs> Hear that, Annie? Annie? It's, you, it's your fault. It's, oh. It sounds awful. What, is it a baby shower? No, no. no. no we're we're no. driving to see her friends because like, she never sees well, her okay, friends. That part of it's very that's it's nice, but like it's two hours. This it's guy's going to come back with fucking hives. You know how no, you yeah, it's a two-hour drive. We're going for dinner, and she has a cat and a dog, which I'm both allergic to. You know how you drove an hour and a half for a second? are you going to that? That's what I was saying. Give her the car and Skype in. (laughs) Skype in. Go remotely. Um, Drive around town for an hour and use your iPad. Quick, just get sick off someone in here and then you're good. (laughs) Um, (laughs) All that sound. Before, since we're. It's like you're deep throating a fucking popsicle. We're we're running out of time, so I quickly want to throw in a funny Annie story. Um, Annie story? So. Sorry. I think it was. Yeah, it was Saturday or Sunday. Which day um, was it? No, it was Sunday. It was yesterday. Okay. Perfect. Important. So she, <laughs> sure, it wasn't we're, we're Saturday. talking. We're talking, and she's just like, she was telling me how she wants me to like clean up a bit more because I'm lazy. So I was like, that's fair. And then she's like, oh, so I don't want you to message me being like, what are we doing for dinner? She's like, I just want you sometimes to decide because she's like, sometimes with school and stuff, she's just too busy and doesn't want to think about it. So that's I was like, fair. okay, sure. Mm-hmm. So then when we're leaving, I was just like, what are we gonna do for dinner? I was like, wait, wait, wait no, we're going to Subway. And then she's just like, I don't want Subway. She kind of gets this look. She's like, I don't want to go to Subway. <laughs> oh, my classic. God. And, she, no, classic. and she's just like, no, you should only tell me what we're doing for dinner when I'm at school, not on the weekend. I'm like, this is too many rules. Man, Yikes. that's classic. Bree's like, oh, what do you want to do for dinner? I'm like, oh, I, like, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. She's like, pick. I don't care. I'm like, all right, let's go do this. She's like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> See, like, e- easy for me and Amanda just default to an all you can eat. We're both happy. Done. I, I, in that scenario, I literally always just say, clearly one of us cares and one of us doesn't, so you pick. And she's always like, ah, I couldn't even, <laughs> I didn't even get to eat where I wanted on my own birthday with one of my girlfriends because I got, I want, I love Swiss Chalet and it was, I got a lot bought of passive. We've had Swiss Chalet pretty recently. <laughs> like, it's my birthday. <laughs> I want Swiss Chalet. I'm getting it. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh, bar. Oh. Dude, the best, like for my birthday, <laughs> oh, all, all bets are off. There's a Leafs game coincided with my birthday one day. I'm like, 
I don't care who don't comes. Don't talk to me. I'm going to Boston Pizza BP. to watch the Leafs game and get drunk. Yeah. You make the reservation. I don't care anything else. She's like, BP's you, don't, like, who, you want to invite this person? I'm like, I don't care. Who's there? I will be I, at Boston Pizza watching the Leafs game. It was a great time. Everyone like, came. Drew, that's Drew, it's that's crazy. And in, in like the five years I've known you, I've never been to Boston Pizza for your birthday. I was at Ooh. school. But like, I'm surprised because yeah. like, you had dropped out at that point. So. Oh, you know, it's not like I had a car to drive back. Drew's going. Oh, oh, he's got two. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? It will start with T. <laughs> Toyota. Guy, cut the film. Cut the film. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> producer. <laughs> pull up the cords. <laughs> What were you gonna say, Shane? Um, I'm surprised. Like, it, it, like you'd have all these friends there, and Drew can only focus on two things. So it'd be like Leafs game and food, and just everyone else. It'd be like in his, he's in his own room. Anyway. It'd be, it's like that pyramid where it's like you choose. Like it's like was it social? That's like social life, money. I mean, like <laughs> sleep. Yeah, you choose, yeah. You choose like choose two. Drew was the like, funniest part beer, about that food, is like hockey. My one of my roommates was like sitting across the table from me, or two of them, and one of them was like, "Yeah, Laura was like so pissy last night and stuff." Like, blah blah. blah. Like, didn't you see that? I'm like, no. no I didn't. <laughs> like, the Leafs won. It was a great game. <laughs> So I can tell you how many minutes Nina had the longest. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but it's my birthday. Why I should get to decide what I want to do? Like, who? Yeah, know. it's your birthday. It's your one day. You get to do every one. It's not like your wedding when it's like everything is getting married for was, everyone is gonna else. suck, man. Yeah. True. You're not even have, in a relationship. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> fuck, I'm not getting married anytime soon. I'm gonna wait till I actually drops that like though. first date every time. <laughs> Y'all getting married is gonna get. It's just gonna suck. She's like, what the fuck? She's <laughs> like, what's your name again? How many commas you got again? You drove here in what car? I have a car, lady. <laughs> why, why would you hate like a wedding so much? Well, I've never been to one to be honest. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just kind of just kind of crazy because he's been I'm missing just, out. No, all I hear from people is like, man, this wedding went to a social. Well, no, they say like the wedding part is like boring because you just sit and watch them, right? Mm-hmm. But then they say the after party is always pretty wild. It depends. So, depends. It depends. Yeah. <clears throat> I, it can open be, bar versus non-open bar. It can be thing. really stressful if you're one of those people who like wants the ideal perfect ceremony and everything. I couldn't yeah, then do it gets, shits, man. And that's what, yeah, like me and Annie have had this back and forth of where like, I you don't want... married? Oh. <laughs> Annie, let me see your finger. <laughs> where is it? Oh, no ring yet. But, so like, I don't want a ceremony because I don't like <laughs> the I whole... <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like the whole fat rock person right there. The structure of it, and I also like don't like speeches or anything. So I'm like, I don't want a ceremony. I just want the party. I want everyone to come and just get drunk and have a good time. And he's definitely I'll give all the speeches. Christian. How's that? I don't sound? mind the ceremony for like as long as like the, the quick like 15, 20 minutes. Like, I want quick courthouse. You have to say in <laughs> out. Done. You have to say something though. You have to be my like, my cousin's getting married wedding, today. The moms went up on stage and they're like, "We don't want to bore you guys with a speech. Like it means the world to us that you all came here." Food's over there. Have a good night. Let's get Some after of the speeches it. are Beautiful. literally the best, though. Like, yeah, well, I feel okay, you well. kind of have, like, I would want to give a speech to one of my, like, best, best friends. Like, like say, like, my, like, a buddy I've known. I can't see any of them getting married. I'm there for you, buddy. Don't like, worry. I, yeah, I got speeches yeah. galore. I was going to say, we got speeches lined <laughs> you're, up. You're just going to have, like, a, have a I, giant fucking scroll. Of I got, like, 20 speeches. I just got to start knocking some off. Like, well, <laughs> this one's too bad. Chris is just all boys. Like, mm, look at those titties bouncing. <laughs> yeah. What I would do is I would hire my community to just go and get all of your worst sound oh, bits. Man. And I would just make, like, I wouldn't even say a anything. Montage. I'd grab a little projector, put it up, and be like... <laughs> Here you guys go. I'd be I'd be divorced before I even got married. <laughs> Yikes. Christian's like in between everyone else's speeches, just like pressing buttons from the Rob <laughs> No, he, he, he's like making reactions to everyone's speeches. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he has like emojis or whatever you call pop up, the Twitch things, emotes. <laughs> emotes. emotes. Jeez. That was very pog change. That was a yeah. huge pog. <laughs> uh, Twitch streams as well. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sure it's been done. He's like reading off donations while he's like getting married. He's like, oh, thanks for five dollars. I'm sure it's you been done. You just bought done. me a toaster. Thank you. <laughs> That's the wedding law, or whatever you call it. Like the that idea seems pretty weird. How you tell everyone what you want? Actually, it's not that bad of an idea. I just, I'm doing no. I, yeah. I fucking I hate that. I hate I, gifts at I, weddings. I would just feel weird like saying, "I you're buying me this." You know what? I hate the biggest debate between me and Amanda is wedding party. I think it's the stupidest fucking thing. What's, What's that? that? So like when you have like the group of, or like your bridesmaids or whatever and like whatever what was the what's the groomsmen? Oh, groomsmen. Yeah. yeah. It's so dumb. You pretty much force like say four or five of your like best friends to spend thousands of dollars. Yeah. To do like just she like you'll have to buy like a specific suit that you'll probably never use again. Yeah. You'll go on a trip that would be fun, but like I think it's the stupidest concept ever. Yeah. So my goal is that I'm not gonna do any of that. 
until I can pay for it because I feel like it's fucking ass. Why would you put, throw that on everyone? Like, yeah, I'm like, not that's, doing that. That's that's an awful thing to just be like, okay, you have to do this. It's fifteen hundred dollars for the suit. This, this, this. I, I would like if I'm agree. getting married, I should be the one paying for that. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But then at the same time, now, why just, just like. like he can't wait for me to get married. He just wants a suit. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a free suit. Fuck it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, there we go. Done. <laughs> I also, I agree with you. I feel like the parties is also bad because it's like, I have a lot of close friends. Yeah, I was just it, thinking it, that. It would be very hard for me to decide. Like, I don't want to hurt Rob's feelings. Uh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's, he's it's just, it's guy. just like no amount of explanation is going to like, no amount of being like, hey man, like talking to them is going to make it be like any less like dickish. You know what I mean? No, yeah. No. And like, so one example I can use is I have this one friend who's getting married and like in our group of friends, a bunch of them are in the wedding party, but I'm not. And I'm like, I can understand why, because we're good friends, but we're not like super, super yeah. close. Yeah. But at the same time, but fuck it's, you, it's, man. No, not like, if you're listening, you. man. But at the same time, it's, it's going to be kind of awkward because like then all my friends are going to be up there with him, and I'm just going to be there in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and because they'll be there the whole time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you, and then other friends like miss. I don't want to leave anyone out. I'm just want to be like, just go fucking enjoy the party. Watch Shane get drunk. So and, hey. uh, Bree has like a friend that's marrying a well, marrying like his fiance or whatever. I would hope so. Really? So so, that's but weird. like. The Bree's friend is the guy, so yeah. all of their all of her guy friends are the groomsmen, and then like she's good friends with the the fiance now too. But like she obviously has her own friends, so like the way they circumvented that is like they're just like Bree, Megan, do you guys want to be the MCs? Like you can mm-hmm. still be a part of it. You're just like not going to be the bridesmaid. They're like, yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. That's so yeah. they're like I, well, still involved she in it. Just like, been like Rob, you're going to be my man. MC. I'll take. I'll be the DJ. No, no. You'll <laughs> I'll wear a, a big. I'll like, wear a big dead mouse ha- mask. And be like, <laughs> I was when I was in Vegas. I, I was talking with a bunch of the other siege people about it. I was just like, I'm going to hire like the siege casters to be my MC. That'd be pretty funny. Be that like, would actually be, be making like that would suck. Of what yeah. we're doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was more of a joke, but whatever, bro. Fuck Aww. you. All right. Uh, fuck you all. We're leaving. Wow. What a, what a way to end it. It's time to climb. Yeah, we got we to gotta go climb. I, uh, I'm about to fall asleep. The, knees, the knee's getting hardened again, so we got to go... Uh, I got to go pop this pimple on my face. We got to loosen her up and get, Look, some, can I do get some V4s done, you know? Maybe. <laughs> all right. I guess that's it for this week. Uh, I'm kidding. I love you all. <laughs> okay. Most of you. Most of them. Yeah. So and I want to make one guy that roasted the. the I, I, I especially love the one guy that thinks Christian knows me fifteen dollars. <laughs> I especially love the guy who thinks Rob has kids in his basement. <laughs> that yeah, is like people, you. not oh, kids. People. Oh, I'm not a fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> the mustache says otherwise. Anyways, bye guys. I'm not a pedophile, just a kidnapper. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing sexual, man. Okay, bye. <laughs>